Hello everybody and welcome back to Black Country Diecast. We're back with another custom car today. As you can see from the title, it's the world's most random minivan. I found a few bits and bobs online and I just had to have them. And I thought, let's put them on this car, make it a stupid looking thing. But as usual, we're drilling out the rivet to take it apart. And as if by magic, there we go. That was causing me some trouble this stupid little plastic clip with a, a bright blue interior and a two tone blue and silver body. I had this car for, I think this is one of the cars I've had since I was a. A little babby. And I thought, why not? Let's do it. So as per usual, put it in the... Uh, put it in the pine stripper. I think there was three in there at one point. The Volvo you saw in the last video. This one, which is, ended up being the second video because I had to wait for parts to be delivered, which you'll see later on in the video. And the... Um, the Ford RS200, which everybody wanted to be the next video, but I'm still waiting for bits for that as well. So, that's not my fault. I blame Royal Mail or Hermes or Yodel. Just don't blame me. It's not my fault. But, oh, look at that. Click your fingers as if by magic, the paint has been stripped. And it come off all in one go, to be fair. It was, it was very good. Very good indeed. Give it a good rub down, as usual. Nice key for the paint to stick to. God, do you want to hurry up? God, it's taking ages. What are you doing? Yeah, well done. You've sanded the roof of the car. Well done, mate. Congratulations. It come up all right, though, to be fair. Not as good as the Volvo. I think it was the Volvo that come up really shiny. But yeah, thumbs up. Nice one. There we are, outside with a super duper uh, dribbly primer. I have finally thrown that away and got a new one. It was, it was a bit ridiculous. Trying to hold the, uh, the spray top on and dribbling all over my hands and everywhere but I've got a new one now so it doesn't matter it doesn't matter well, while he's doing that I'm going to have me a slurp of beer ah paint all over your hands you silly sausage well I went for an interesting paint scheme on this use some frog tape which I've got lying around from work I've got a, I've got a feeling I didn't cut this down, and there's going to be a lot of, a lot of footage of me masking stuff up. I do apologise for that. Yeah, use the straight edge. Yeah, well done. Oh, oh, he's a clever sausage. He's a clever sausage, isn't he? Dear me. Yeah, get yourself some more masking. I'm just going to have me another slurp of beer. You enjoyed the, the masking tape uh, enjoyment there. Oh, look, a bit of a face reveal there, or a glasses reveal, and a ginger beard reveal. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, oh, well done. Yeah, masking tape. Yeah, well done. Well done. Yeah, I'll remember to cut this bit out next time. Because I'm boring myself. Transition. Got some matte black bumper paint for the lower half of the car. You have to excuse the quality. It was... Uh, Zoomed in somewhat, so you didn't see the rest of it. What was around? 
Yeah, it's quite good stuff, that is, isn't it? Yeah. It's, you can't really... Yeah, well, there we go. Zoomed out a bit there. You can see it. There's a super high-tech spray booth, the What's-It's box. <laughs> Love to see it. But it did, it did a good job, that masking tape. Um, it's not cheap, but it's, uh, it was it was perfect, to be fair. As you can see, as we take it off, it did a damn good job. Nice clean edge. And now it's masked up for the next bit of paint. Get the spray booth out again. I have definitely forgotten to take some bits out of this video. <laughs> and guess who forgot to press record before he started spraying it? Yeah, that's right, me. But it's been painted in. It is actually because it's a Nissan car. It's been painted in a Nissan color, magnetic red, which I had mixed up for my old car. He here's the delivery I've been waiting for. Two teeny tiny bits of plastic. A rear wing. And a roof rack. I just wanted to make this a pretty ridiculous, stupid video. So we give them a spray with, the, with the same paint we sprayed the little we sprayed the bottom half of the car with. Took a couple of coats because they're quite small. That was a link in the description for the eBay store. I bought these off. Got some good stuff on there, different engines and whatnot. There we go, there's the body all done. I lacquered the paint with the bottom half still masked up. I didn't want black wheels on this car, but I only had black wheels left. So, black wheels it is. There's the other bits spray painted. So it's time to put it all back together, glue it all together, do all the usual detailing. Here's what it looked like before. Guess we forgot to take a uh, before picture again. That's right, me. And here's what it looks like now with its ridiculous wheels, ridiculously big back wing, a roof rack with a spare tyre which doesn't even fit the car. But who cares? We're having a laugh. We kept the blue interior just because it looks a bit daft. Boy, I've, I've really enjoyed this one. Don't expect to see too many roof racks and spoilers in, in any future videos because they ain't cheap. Let <laughs> me tell you, they ain't cheap. Well, thanks very much for watching. And hopefully, I'll catch you again soon. Terrarivit.